Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today is New Year's Day. I hope you're enjoying the start of a new year. And what better way to celebrate than by cracking open some Magic the Gathering? I have in front of me a Lost Caverns of Ixalan gift bundle. On my channel, I've already opened a pre release kit, a regular bundle, and I'm in the process of opening a set booster box. Today, I hope to pull some awesome cards out of this gift bundle. I'm going to go ahead and get into cracking it open. On the front with all the gift edition bundles, there's a lot of foil and it will also include a foil Jurassic World card. Excited to see what that is. A little bit of info about what's inside. Alt Art Traditional Foil Hit the Mother Load, which is the same as in the regular bundle. A special oversized gift edition spin down life counter. Eight set boosters plus a collector booster. Also, it will have 20 traditional foil and 20 regular basic, traditional foil universes beyond Jurassic World collection card, and of course the box. All right, I'm going to try to open this really carefully. My regular bundle didn't open so well, and I had a little bit of damage to the box. I like to collect the outside packaging. All right, get the contents of the bundle out. Oh, look at that. Dinosaurs ruled the earth. And then animated look at some of the dinosaurs of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. All right, the box is all foily and shiny. Cool looking. As usual, comes with these punch outs. Oh, I got a punch out of Samuel L. Jackson and Wayne Knight. I don't remember their names in the movie. Punch out Planeswalker token with looks like a mosquito and amber. Finality counters, plus one, plus one counters. No, these are stun counters. Finality counters, plus one, plus one counters. A megalodon eating, I don't know, a whale maybe? It's kind of gruesome. Set that off to the side. The amber dye. Oh, this looks really cool. Big fan of that amber dye. Inside, these will contain the Hit the Mother Load bundle promo card with, I believe, the foil lands. And then this one will have the regular lands. And of course, you know, ads about how to attack, block, play Magic the Gathering. Then the packs. So let me put this back on, slide that kind of off to the side. Eight set booster packs and the collector booster. I'll open the collector booster last. I only open collector boosters when I purchase the gift bundles. I don't really spend much money on collector boosters. They're a little gimmicky and I just like to collect cards and play the game. So I'll get cracking that toward the end. Set it over here. All right, first set booster pack. Let me know if you've opened a gift bundle. Did you pull something awesome from it? Start off with an art card. Curator of Sun's Creation. Set the art card right there. And then in the land slot with set boosters, sometimes a regular basic land, other times caves at the common level will appear here. Hidden Cataract. Get my pile set up right. Frilled Cave Worm, Quicksand Whirlpool, Song of Stupefaction, River Herald Scout. First Uncommon is Thrashing Brontodon, Triumphant Chomp, Colossal Dactyl, Dreadmire's Ire. This is a great card in draft. With an Otaklan Landmark, transforms into, try not to spoil the rare, Otaklan Levitator. Looks like I have a mythic. All right, Blood Letter of Aklazots. This is a great card to play in draft as well. Set that up front here. Foil Unlucky Drop and from the list, Battle Gnomes. Gnomes are featured quite a bit in Lost Caverns of Ixalan, so that makes sense. For any of the uncommons, commons, tokens, art cards, etc., that are over a dollar, I'll put those prices right here. For all the rares and mythics, I'll put the prices for all those cards as well. All right, get into the next set booster pack. 
Mythic out of the first pack is pretty cool, I think. All right, this art card is Ukenbach, The Great Mistake, with a full art mountain, Hunter's Blowgun, Attentive Sunscribe, Sunshot Militia, Malamet Veteran, Malamet Scythe, Gold Fury Strider is the first uncommon out of this set booster pack. Zoetic Glyph, absolute blowout in draft. A Kawali, the Seething Tower. And the Transform card is an uncommon. Sahili's Lattice into Mastercraft Raptor. And Kutzil Flanker is the rare out of this pack. Now that's a pretty card with the foil showcase or borderless rampaging ceratops and i have another list card two packs two list cards that's pretty cool battle wand oak out of i think lower one all right get my pile straightened here i heard that there were some production issues with the regular bundles some of them had a list card in every pack maybe i'll get lucky here and get a list card in all the packs No, I'm not going to get lucky. That's a token. All right, that is some crazy art for Echoing Deeps. Hidden Volcano, Ultec Cloud Guard, Deconstruction Hammer, Ancestral Reminiscence, Family Reunion, Ancestors Aid, Colossal Dactyl is the first uncommon, Dreadmaw's Ire, second uncommon. Looks like a couple of duplicates already. It's Quinith, firstborn of Jizath. Zoyoa Lava Tongue Showcase. And the rare is a transform card Dire Flail into Dire Blunderbuss with the Foil Disturbed Slumber and a Bat Token. Guess I'll put the tokens right there. All right, moving right along. Huh, these cards are upside down, it looks like, out of this pack. All right, art card is Walk with the Ancestors. Maybe not. Hidden Necropolis Foil. Put that with my foils. Oaken Siren. Pirate Hat. Waylaying Pirates. Shipwreck Sentry. Brackish Blunder. Uh, blue Pack, huh? Regular version of Zoyoa Lava Tongue. First uncommon, Zoyoa's Justice. Spyglass Siren. Uncommon, no, this is a common. Caslim Stone Tree. See if I can flip it into Caslim Strider. Oh, gotta love duplication and bundles. Last pack I got a Dire Flail. This pack I get a Dire Flail as well. It still transforms into a Dire Blunderbuss. With a foil out of air and a troll card. Proxy for the double faced cards. Halfway through the set booster pack. Art card is Blood Letter of Aklazots. There's some crazy arts in this set. Hidden Courtyard, Miner's Guide Wing, Rumbling Rock Slide, Cartographer's Companion, Compass Gnome. So as Justice is the first uncommon. Starting to see a little bit of a theme here. Spyglass Siren. Some duplicates in following packs. Sorceress Spyglass. Uncommon Transform card. Visage of Dread into Dread Osirosaur. Oh, that is awesome looking. A borderless, restless reef dual land. And then behind it is a Kite Sail Larcenus. Another great card in Limited Draft. And a Foil Seeker of Sunlight with a Gnome Token. I may have jinxed myself with list cards because I got two in the first two packs, but none so far. Yeah, looks like I did jinx myself. Oh, sticker of the pack still on there. This is Basking Capybara with a full art island, dead weight, unlucky drop, greedy freebooter, out of air, runaway boulder. Synapse Necromage, 
Tendril of the Myco Tyrant, Explorer's Cache. Had a lot of fun with this one in draft as well. A Showcase Captain Storm. Fun card in Limited as well. And my rare is Preacher of the Schism with, what is this? Oh my word, this is a cool card. Tishana's Tidebinder, alternate art, rare. I think this has a little bit of value to it, maybe around $15, and it's a foil. That's an awesome pull with a map token. Okay, two packs to go. Art card of Chalice of the Void. Love to pull that in one of these packs. Promising Vein. Mineshaft Spider. Child of the Volcano. Frilled Cave Worm. Quicksand Whirlpool. This bundle is yielding a lot of duplicates, both of the common, uncommon, and a duplicate rare. Song of Stupefaction. Here we go again. Uncommon Sorcerer Spyglass into a Merfolk Cave Diver. Glowcap Lantern. The uncommon transform card is Twists and Turns into Mycoid Maze. And a rare Souls of the Lost. With a Foil Ancestor Reminiscence. And a Vampire Token. Okay, final set booster pack and then into the collector booster. This is Vito. Fanatic of Aklazots. Be great to pull that as a mythic in one of these packs. Hidden Volcano, Hotfoot Gnome, Tinker's Tote, Ultec Archaeologist, Merfolk Cave Diver, Glowcap Lantern is the first uncommon, Cenote Scout, Tithing Blade transforms into Consuming Sepulchre, Thrashing Brontodon, Borderless, Oh, wow. Restless Vents, Borderless, Dual Land. Taps for black and red. And the final rare is Akopako, First Among Equals. Another fun card to play in Limited with the Foil Ultec Cloud Guard. And what do I have here? A special guest. I pulled one of the special guests, Rampaging Ferocidon. I believe this was in the original Ixalan set. Might still have a little bit of value. I'm going to guess maybe two, three, maybe five dollars. All right, on to the collector booster. I think I got some pretty good pulls. Pulled a mythic uh, bloodletter of Aklazots, and then of course the Tishana's Tidebinder alternate art foil rare. Drop some of my rares right there. All right, like I said, I don't open very many collector boosters. Usually if I get them in one of the gift bundles, I think I've maybe gotten two other collector packs over time as gifts. Hope for something cool out of this pack. As always, these are extremely hard to open. I think probably in a good way to keep people from searching the packs and resealing them. All right, the first handful are going to be Commons and uncommons with at least one land. Plundering Pirate. Seeker of the Sunlight, which is a foil I pulled in one of the packs. Screaming Phantom. Miner's Guidewing. A whole star limited card in draft. A couple of uncommons. Explorer's Cash. Market Gnome. Enterprising Scallywag with a full art swamp. Star Compass, oh, that's a special guest card, and Foil. Too bad it's an uncommon instead of rare mythic. Magmatic Galleon, rare Foil. Warden of the Inner Sky, Extended Art. Calvilano, First of the Blessed, mythic from Commander, looks like a showcase type card. Oop, oh, I skipped the card. Abuelo, Ancestral Echo, that's a rare out of the set. And my final card, no, I think I got one more hiding back behind there. Cresting Mosasaurus, a 4-8 Dino, that's a rare. Foil, Extended Art, looks like, or maybe Borderless. And then Sanguine Evangelist is the Foil Extended Art with a Gnome, 
and a dinosaur. Okay, I think I might have to open, I'm not sure if it's this one or this one, but I believe that there is a dino card in one of these. I just don't remember which one it is. It might be in this one here. So I'll go ahead and open this up. Normally I don't open these, I save them. But since I want to see what dino I got, I'm going to have to open both of them. All right, hit the mother load. Oh, there's the dino behind the bundle promo foil. Life finds a way. Enchantment. Not sure how much value that has. And then the foil lands should be probably four of each. And then this one is going to have just the regular traditional lands, which I think might as well open it anyway, just to see what is in there. So I think it's going to have all of the full art lands and there should be four of each of them, which I think is correct with of course the two cards that teach you how to play magic. Okay, that was quite a bit of fun. I really enjoyed opening up this gift bundle. I did pull some cards that I think have some pretty good value. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me in the comments section what you think about my pulls from my Lost Caverns of Ixalan gift bundle. Till next time when I'm back to crack some more Magic the Gathering.